Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. What I'm going to show you today is how to mirror the screen off of a Galaxy Note 10 Plus onto the screen of a Galaxy Tab S4. Now this way should work with most of the, mo the newer Galaxy Series phones and the Galaxy ta newer Galaxy Tabs as well. Before, the way that you would do this with Samsung phones would be to install the Samsung Sight Sync on the phone and the tablet and you would use that app in order to mirror the phone to the tablet. But with the newer phones, I believe it started with the Galaxy S9 or the Note 9, where the Sight Sync no longer was compatible with the phones or the newer tablets. And then you ended up having to use a new app, and that one new app is the Samsung Flow app. So first, first thing you need to do is go ahead and make sure you've got the app installed on both the phone and the tablet, which I have already got installed here. Now what you do is go ahead and open the app and you can see on the tablet it's waiting for something to connect to it. So I'll go ahead and open it on the phone. And now the phone is telling me to go ahead and start the app on the tablet or PC. In this case it's going to be the tablet. So I'll go ahead and hit start. And it's scanning and it's actually already got my, it already found the Galaxy Note 10, so I'll go ahead and click that. It's asking if I want to connect via Wi-Fi or LAN or the Bluetooth. I'll go ahead and do Bluetooth. And now it is asking me to verify the PIN on both the phone and the tablet to make sure it's the same, which it is. So I'll go ahead and click OK on both. And now it says the setup is complete. And at this point, the two are now connected together. And from here, if you look in the top corner, you've got three options, technically four. This here is the clipboard. The one next to it is going to be if you want to connect to a mobile hotspot in case your tablet doesn't have access to the internet. And then this one is the smart view. This is the button you would press if you wanted to go ahead and mirror your phone onto the tablet. And then this one gives you more options. You see settings, scan for devices, contact us. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and start the smart view. And now you can see on my tablet I've got the screen on my phone mirrored onto the tablet. And by default when you mirror it, the screen on your phone goes dim, kind of as a way to let you know that it's being mirrored. However, you can still use the, the phone screen if you wanted to, it's just dimmed. If you wanted the screen color to go back, if you go back onto the tablet, you've got a bunch of different choices up here. One of them is a picture of a phone. If you press that, as you can see it says show phone screen. What it does, it undims your phone. That way it's a lot easier to use your phone again. So let's go ahead and press that. You can see the blue icon or the icon turned blue to let you know it's activated. And now over here you can see my screen is back to normal color again. And then right next to the, the phone option, this is to take a screen capture. Right here would make it full view. Basically this big white bar on top would go away. Screen rotation. This is do not disturb. And this is if you want to, it's kind of like a bookmark. It allows you to add shortcuts to any apps that you've got installed. And as you can see I've got full control of my phone now. If I want to I can bring the notification screen down. As you can see, there it is. I can also do the recents. I'll go back to the phone. You can see it's fully mirrored. Now anything I do on the tablet will go ahead and be done onto your, onto your phone. And let's go ahead and exit the smart view. Let's go ahead and turn smart view off. Now we're back to the normal screen. 
What this does also, you got a little option here for notifications. So any notifications that come up on your phone will also be displayed in here. You got your settings. You can choose your connection method. Anything that you saved on from your phone to the tablet, you got your location where you can save it at right here. And here is so you can access the content on your connected device, audio, my files, video, Samsung notes, image, contacts. And that's that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, it's it's real easy to mirror your Galaxy Note or your S series onto your onto your Samsung tablet. Well, I hope this video was helpful to some of y'all. And I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.